Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. We're here today to talk about our through-bore encoder. It is specifically designed with the end user in mind to make it easier than ever for teams to put an encoder on the shaft in which they want to measure the rotation. The encoder itself supports both quadrature and absolute positioning, as well as having a native half-inch hex. So mechanically and electrically, you're able to get the thing running out of the box quicker than ever. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to run through how to mechanically set it up within some common use cases for the FRC landscape, as well as how to connect it to your control system, whether you are an FRC team or an FTC team, utilizing either the RoboRio or a control or expansion hub. Mechanically, the through-bore encoder has two wings that have mounting points that are compatible with most common FRC COTS gearboxes. Your shaft options for the through-bore encoder are by default half-inch hex, or through inserts, you can use either 3 8 hex, 5 millimeter hex, or 1 quarter inch round. For the two hex inserts, what you're going to want to do is, before mounting your through-bore encoder, is take your hex insert, place it into your half-inch hex default, and then mount this onto your shaft that you want to measure rotation from. If you're using the quarter inch round that is typically found on the back of the FRC kit bot chassis in the gearbox that is there, you're going to need to go through a little bit of a different procedure. So on this Toughbox Mini, we have the quarter inch round pre-installed. The installation process for this is pretty straightforward. You need to take your quarter inch round uh, insert and put it in something that allows to warm it up. We typically recommend putting it in some hot water for about a minute to allow it to expand a bit. From there, you're able to take it on and get it started by hand and pressing it onto the back shaft. After you get it started and it's on a little bit of a way, you may need to use a hammer or something else to be able to press the, the bore all the way down on. You want to make sure that there is a snug press fit so that there is not any ticks and there's no loss uh, on the encoder itself. When you go to mount, mount the encoder, you're going to end up just taking the encoder. You may need to spin the encoder output a bit and press it down and in. There are a few ways that you're able to mechanically attach your through bore encoder to the gearbox. One is you can take a small drill bit and drill a little pilot hole into the plastic and then tighten it in with a small number 10 screw. Another really easy way that you're able to do this as well is through using some double sided tape like VHB tape or hot glue can work in a pinch. Once those are attached, you just need to cable everything up, either to your RoboRio or to your Spark Max within the FRC system. Next, you're going to have the encoder mounted somewhere on your machine at the point in which you want to measure your rotation. You're then going to take the 6-pin to DuPont connecting cable and then run that to your Rio. Fairly straightforward, you take the 6-pin end into your through-bore encoder. Then we're going to take our DuPont connectors and you bring them back to your RoboRio. From here, you're going to want to plug them into your DIO ports. Just make sure that your ground and power are going to the right location. Ground and power for each connection will be black and red respectively, where the colored connection is going to be your signal. To be able to find which signal you are going to be reading with each cable, please reference the data sheet which is available on the product page. For this example, we connected all four cables. Depending on your use case, you might only use one, two, or maybe three, or potentially even all four. That's really going to be up to you. Reference the data sheet to be able to find which signals and how you want to be able to utilize the encoder within your system. Let's grab something that we were using earlier today, which is our motor and gearbox that comes typically with our kit chassis. We already have a through bore encoder that's mounted on here. And we're going to use the six pin to six pin connector to then drive directly into our Spark Max. So if you're using a Spark Max that is in brushed mode, you can end up using the six pin to six pin connector onto the front of your Spark Max with your brushed motors. So this is a very straightforward application. You take one six pin end, plugging it into your encoder. You then take your other six pin end and you plug it into the front of the Spark Max. It's that easy. Then through your Spark Max API, 
you're able to call that encoder and being able to get distances with brushed motors. So if you're utilizing your kit chassis, it's a really easy way of getting up and running with some of the smart robot features that are available on the Spark Max. So for this, you're gonna need either a control hub or an expansion hub to be able to run with. Again, there is another cable that comes with it. You're gonna take your six pin end and you plug it into your through bore encoder. This goes down to a four pin JST, which is very similar to what is on the encoders that are on the back shaft of the motors that are FTC legal. You're then going to take this and plug it into one of the quadrature encoder ports that are on the control or expansion hub. At this time, the FTC control system can only support quadrature encoding. So even though the through bore encoder does have the absolute positioning available for FTC teams, we're gonna to need to wait for a firmware update to the control and expansion hub to be able to use that functionality. So with that, we've covered the mechanical as well as the wiring of the through bore encoder within both the FRC and FTC control systems. If you have any questions, please reference the product page for the through bore encoder where we have a data sheet that has more information available for ticks per revolution, as well as what the cables are for and potential ways that you're able to utilize the through bore encoder. If you have any questions, feel free to email us, support at revrobotics.com. Good luck at the competition, and we hope to see you out there.